Well, check out these baby chicks. You saw them a little earlier with Roger Riley. You can find them and other new farm animals at the Animal Learning Center. From chicks to cows and goats, you can see them all into the world. You can see them come into the world, and that's where we find our chief meteorologist, Ed Wilson, today. A lot of excitement out there, Ed. I'm telling you, I'm right in the middle of the excitement. Uh, in fact, we just had a mama goat give birth to, we think, three, maybe four uh, little baby goats over there. That's why all those people are standing on this side. You might be able to see the guy with the vet uh, sign on his back. When you know there's a veter vet veterinarian here inside of the Paul R. Knapp Animal Learning Center, you know something big has happened, or little. Uh, in this case, uh, pretty cool. Lots of kids are telling me about it. Uh, is, as uh, we were just showing you this little calf over here, uh, we were just going to sip around here. Check out the birth certificate for this calf. So this Paul R. Knapp Animal Learning Center birth certificate, that was a female. Her name is Cinnamon Sugar. She was born yesterday at 2 p.m. She weighed 60 to 80 pounds, and it was delivered by mom. <laughs> Mom's over there having a good time as well. It's so much fun to watch some of the little kids and big kids. They just sit there, you know, watching all of this happen. It's a lot of fun. We're here, obviously, kind of in the cattle and the goat area. We do have the chickens. We have turkeys. Uh, we have a farrowing area up here where we have the pigs. We'll maybe show you some of that a little bit later. We'll be here at 5 and at 6 o'clock for the weather. But this is a cool place, and it's big. I mean, it's such a big area, and a lot of people are here today. If you want to come to the Animal Learning Center, it is just on the north side of the fairgrounds. It's actually, if you uh, know where the bud tent is, it's north of the bud tent, right up the street. You can't miss it as you're heading out to the fair, uh, just going out to the gate on the north side here. But this is a, a really a, a pretty cool place. I've been here before, but I've never actually been here when one of them is giving birth. Uh, I had a couple of folks who were talking to me earlier, and then they all wanted to go over there and look at this. So uh, it's a lot of fun. We got these girls here. Hi, girls. How are you? What's your name? Eleanor. And what's your name? Meredith. And what's your name? Naomi. Have you? Did you guys see the baby little goats over there? Yeah. Did you watch it getting born or you're giving birth? Um, no, yeah. but we saw the end of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah. Have you guys ever seen anything like that before? Well, we did see a pig get born last year. Oh, good. Good. Where are you guys from? Iowa City. Awesome. Great. I didn't see it. I didn't see the pig getting born last time. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. But this time, at least you're here for the goats. You never know what's going to happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, have a good time. Thanks for saying hi to me. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah, have a good time. We've got these guys over here, too, these young men. Hi, buddy. What's your name? Tommy. Are you having a good time today? Yeah. What are we eating here? What, what do we have? Goldfish. Of course. That's awesome. Did mom bring those for you? No, we got them. Um, we got them um, with one dollar from like the, like a fake one dollar from over there. Oh, excellent. I didn't even know they had them here. That's so cool. Did you guys see the babies over here? Not see the little yet. baby goats? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Got baby goldfish. That's all good. Uh, come and join us here. We'll be here at 5 and 6. And of course, uh, this I believe it's open until 8 o'clock at night. Uh, but it's, it's a pretty cool place. A lot of fun. Uh, I'm enjoying myself for sure. We're going to give you some great weather. You know what? It's about as cool in here as it is outside. It feels like room temperature again. I'll show you more of that, of course, after Jerry Ann gives you all the details tonight at 4. We'll see you in a bit. All right. Thanks a lot, Ed. Yeah, you can feel that excitement and hear it in the air out at the fairgrounds. <laughs>